Creating your own washi tape allows you to, to have a product that works well with the journal you're creating, as well as saving you a ton of money. To do so, you need masking tape and alcohol ink, a few stamps, and some ink. If you want to hop on over to Facebook, you can join my group, Two Old Crows Mixed Media, where we share ideas, try to inspire one another, and we are getting ramped up after the first of the year. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And if you hit that notification bell, you won't miss a thing as you'll be notified when I upload additional content. To create the swashi tape, we're spreading masking tape from the hardware store across a sheet protector. The sheet protector gives us something to store the tape on, and the masking tape does not adhere firmly to that product. I am just using two colors of alcohol ink, a Ranger Ink Blue that is really old and doesn't have the name on the label so I don't know what color blue it is and a newer bottle of alcohol ink casino green. The grocery bag I have just smushed up and am smearing the ink across the masking tape. Now that's a high level technique. So crumple your bag and move the ink across that tape. I'm using it for background color only, so I'm not looking for any fancy alcohol ink technique here. Just want to get the color into the tape. And as I said before, I think this alcohol ink will not crack and peel like any other type of uh, ink might or paint might on top of this masking tape. So now that we are getting that coverage, we'll just make sure that all of these little spots of the masking tape are in the background or not visible. And I'm going to utilize my heat tool to dry the tape. Now, I'm being very, very cautious with heat for, for two reasons. Number one, I don't want to ruin the glue that's on the back of the masking tape or the stickiness of the masking tape. And two, I don't want to melt that sheet protector. So I'm keeping it at a high distance away from the product. And really, you can see me run my hand under it a couple of times just to make sure I'm not getting it too hot. The ink I have chosen with this uh, fleur-de-lis type stamp or filigree type stamp is Moonlight White. It's a brilliance ink. And it is showing up quite well on this background color. I'm just stamping that randomly across the masking tape. Once I have all of that down that I'm comfortable with, I'm going to come back with my stays on black ink. And I have just a, a random script stamp that I am going to do the same thing. Just stamp, stamp, stamp across every piece of the masking tape. And to finish it off, I'm going to pull in a little um, Boho Mandela stamp and just randomly stamp that across all the pieces of the masking tape in black. And that completes this project. See how easy that was? I can't, I can't get over how simple this is and, and how expensive the washi tape can be. And this not only allows you to save a lot of money, it lets you create washi tape in the color of your journal project. Isn't that nice? So this is the finished product sitting on the sheet protector. So you can see where I went in between the piece, the masking tape or the pieces of masking tape. I just stamped wherever. And this is how the washi tape looks finished. I have Put that on, uh, you know, another sheet of or sh another sheet protector just to show you how well this mask masking tape generates that 
washi tape for you. So once again, my name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. The subscribe button is right here underneath my picture of my husband and I, and I have also put a playlist of other videos I think you'll enjoy.